Hey guys, um, I hope you've had a great week. Uh, this week I wanted to talk about bookshelves because a lot of people when I'm talking to them are amazed that I have 600 books, particularly if they've been into my room before I've told them that I have over 600 books because it doesn't feel like it when you're in my room. It's partly because I have a fairly big room and partly because I only have five bookcases. Which, yeah, that's a lot, but some of them are really small and I have things, a lot of things, that was my laptop, that I have a lot of things on them that aren't books, so it makes the books feel less, it's still a very booky bedroom, but it's not overwhelmingly bookish. And I just wanted to talk about how I ended up with five bookcases and 600 books, despite being mostly banned from buying books for about five years now. I mean, in 2016, I bought three books. That's fairly typical. So yeah, Let's move on to the bookcases. Okay, so first off I just wanted to quickly address, uh, if I have so many bookcases, why do I film in front of a poster of books on my sofa? Yeah, I, I'm kneeling down. I'm just under 5'6", I'm not tall, all of my bookcases are just pretty small, so yeah. Anyway, this is the first bookcase I got, it's actually solid oak, it was my mum's when she was little, it's just, it's not very big. Go see, just a couple of shelves of books and then if you follow me on Instagram you'll be familiar with this shelf. Is the kitchen timer. Dinner's almost ready. Yeah, it's just got brick a brick and things and this was the one I originally had when I was little and then I got too many books so by the time I was six or seven this is too small and I had to move on to my next bookshelf. So yeah, this is my next bookshelf. So you can see there's the blue one over there and I got this one to replace it and as you can see it's pretty big, it's quite wide, lots and lots of books on here. This is, this and the other shelf are both single stacked, so what I mean by that is there's only one layer of books, there's not any books in front of them. As you can see on the other one there are some books on top of that one because that was my TBR shelf. It's just up there, that's my TBR shelf, which is why there are books on top. And. So I started quickly filling up this one because of course I had more shelf space. I had to fill my shelf space. So by the time I was, so about a year, la year later, this started getting too small. I ran out because on my, I also keep my DVDs and other stuff on my bookcases. This, these four shelves started to get just a little, little bit small for my school books and my DVDs as well. So I got another thing. So when that big bookcase got too small, I moved on to this one. This is just a little cube unit. I have slope ceiling, so this is currently at the bottom. It has a load of stuff on it. This, this is my bed. It's not that much. It's, it, it's cramped back here. Uh, this is actually designed to hang on the wall and was originally over my desk in my first house and Yeah, it's just it's pretty much full of stuff as you can see this is double stacked This one is double stacked in fact, and there's actually a stack up there This one would be entirely double stacked if I hadn't again stacked up There's a gap there that I think can just about fit the Millennium Trilogy So once I've read that that's going there, then this will be full because too much stuff on here. But anyway, when I was nine, we moved house again. Though I kept my uh, school books and DVDs on here, I quickly had to transfer back to using my blue bookcase, which you can see behind a sheet there, and this rather than my big bookcase. And with the size difference, of course, that meant I had to move books onto here, which meant my gr my desk gradually just became where I stored my school books. 
At the time I was still in primary school, it really wasn't a big deal. But then I moved to my current house and I started sharing a bedroom with my sister. Though I had room to put my giant bookcase in, I did not have... Most of my storage space was now wall space or shared. So I had to get another bookcase. So in order to solve the storage space, I had to get another cube. This one, as you can see, is smaller than the other one. And this is where I put all of my DVDs and school books. So you might be able to tell my school books are no longer on here. They don't actually live on my bookshelves anymore. I have a crate in the corner of my room where I keep all my current school books. Yeah, so th this entire top half is just DVDs and CDs, as is part of the back of here. And this black thing here is my clarinet case, which does not currently have my clarinet in it. Usually my clarinet stand goes in this white space here. But yeah, this is mostly not books, but still technically a bookcase. So I count it. It only has about 20 or so books on it. And is quite possibly my smallest bookcase, definitely my least bookie. Yeah. When I moved up to this room, I was finally able to have all four of these in one room. But then, a couple of years ago, I... well, about f four years ago, I hit a little bit of a snag. And this was around the time I realised I really need to stop buying books. Because... I'd been keeping a lot of books in stacks and hadn't really organised them since I had... When I lived in my old house, we lived near Hay on Wye. Which, if you don't know, was a very booky town, so I picked up a lot, a lot of books. And then I moved to a school where the library would sell off old books for ten pence. So I had a problem and stacks of books all over my room, so I had to get another bookcase. So my fifth and final bookcase is this tiny one here. It's literally that small. It's This is actually on the far side of my room to the other one. So this is restricted by a different sloping ceiling. Yeah. As you can see, this one is almost entirely double stacked here, and it's hard to tell, but this bit, and over on that side, it's double stacked at both ends. So, yeah. This is where a lot of my surplus books went. Originally, this was just random books, and this is where I put a lot of my TBR books. But, as you might be able to tell, this is down in the corner of my room. I'm leaning against these drawer things, and I'm, I'm next to my desk. This is my printer up here, yeah. So this is down in the corner, in the little depths of my room, so it meant all my new books never got read. So I shuffled it up, and all of my new books now end up over there where I can see them, because my blue bookcase is opposite my bed. That TBR shelf stares at me. But this is where I put a lot of the books I've recently read now, or some old favourites, like... Behind there is Prince's Diaries, and as you can see there's Gallagher Girls, and High Society, and there's my Sarah J Mass and some Robert Muchamore. These are just random books, really. These? These are my magazines, because I needed somewhere to put my magazines, and they're the main reason these are double stacked, because I have, well, we've now cancelled it, but my mum got me a subscription to Sew so Magazine for my 16th birthday. Yeah, I'm 18 now, so a lot of magazines. Uh, there is a book on this shelf, this green thing over in the corner, Fashion with Fabric, Great British Sewing Bee book, just, just to prove. I do have books on almost all of my shelves. Yeah, so a couple of years ago I had to get this for all my overflow books, and that's how I got five books. And that's how I got five bookcases. Not, not five books. <sighs> yeah. And between all of these shelves, I have around 620, 630 books. And this is after cutting down. I used to have over 700 books. Yeah, I'm going off to uni in a few months. I'm, I'm gonna have to pack up some of these. So, wish me luck. 
I hope you have a good week and a good reading week and bye!